So here's an example of one where, again, a rule changer, because in the past, if I wanted to say, well, I like that design, but I would like to apply a filter to all of those type layers. Well, because there's five separate type layers, or sorry, four type layers in the past, what are my options? Rasterize them, duplicate them, all of which are kind of, they worked, but weren't great options. So instead, and this is to me where the, the fun, one of the many fun parts of smart objects is I showed you before smart filters on one layer, I could do exactly the same thing simply by saying I want these four type layers to be converted to a smart object. So now it looks like when you look visually, and this is the part you have to get past, it looks like I've merged them together, doesn't it? Because you look at the layers icon or layer icon, it looks like one single layer. Well, it kind of is, but it's just showing you a preview of inside this container, this is what it looks like, but you have to remember, I didn't flatten or merge or rasterize, so those four type layers are still there. So I could take this and you know, do whatever I want and rotate it and now still do some filter like, uh, I don't know, let's do something you can see like texture. And I usually quickly hesitate, not that I would actually do this to a bunch of type, but I want to make sure you can actually see something happening here. So I click OK and you see once again it says Smart Filter, Filter Gallery. That's the only part I don't like is Filter Gallery is the name of a bunch of filters, so it doesn't actually say Texturizer, which I wish it did. But it's not a big deal because you can just double click on it to say, oh, okay, that's what it was. Okay. So now I've done that, I've got this design going on, and then at the final moment I'm thinking, oh wait, there was supposed to be another word, or I, it's the wrong font, or anything, same idea. Double click to get to this one and say, okay, this layer here uh, should be, I don't know, a different typeface, or maybe a different, let's just do a simple one, say a different color, just so we have something, oh, that's lovely. And as once I'm finished, I just get rid of this, save it, and you'll see it up. Oh, that looks even better now with the texturizer. Awesome. Okay. So multiple type layers, multiple of any type of layers, two things are happening here. First of all, my layers panel is not looking quite as crazy with all these type layers, but also there are other things I can do. For example, okay, I really hate that yellow type, um, but let's do this. Let's say maybe that texturizer was a little heavy, so I click OK. But as I said before, you can still treat this as a regular layer, so now I could add a drop shadow, and it adds a drop shadow to all the layers at once. If this was normal Photoshop, I'd go drop shadow, copy and paste to the next layer, copy and paste to the next layer, so I now have four separate drop shadows that look the same, but if I need to edit it, I'd have to go to each one to edit the settings. Here, it's one drop shadow affecting all the layer, all the type, because it's treating it as if this is one layer from that perspective.